Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a double welt pocket which looks like this one here that I made on a piece of denim. Um, I put the bad side of the denim out so you can easily see the welt. This is just a welt, there's no pocket bag here as you can see, but I'll show you how to make not just the double welt but the pocket bag so you have uh, an idea on how to make an entire pocket. Double welt pockets, typically find them on the back of dress pants or jackets or waistcoats. Um, this is how I make them today. I made them differently last year. I think I make them better now and maybe next year um, I'll make them even better because we all learn new things every day and there's, there's more than one way of doing things. However, this is how I do it today. Um, so let's get started. Two values are important when we're going to make a double weld pocket. This is the complete um, width of the weld the pocket when it's completed, and the height of the weld pocket, so this value here. These are the two things that will determine um, everything else. So I like a weld pocket that is 13 centimeter wide. This one is wider because this is just a practice, but 13 centimeter for me is a good value to put my hand in. This one is a bit wider, 13 centimeters is a bit narrower. Um, you don't want to make them too wide because you know, that doesn't look good, but you want to make sure you can get your hand in. Um, I also like them to be narrower, like this is a 2 centimeter wide weld pocket. I like a 1 centimeter wide weld pocket because it's, it's more discreet, however in denim. And for demonstration purposes, I made this one nice and big so you could see it very well. So my measurements will be 13 centimeter width and 1 centimeter height. So we're just going to cut out this piece here and as you can see I've made a cardboard template for it because um, making weld pockets is something that you do often. So these little things are really useful. Um, as you can see it says weld for 13 by 1 centimeter, cut 2. But this piece is actually not 13 by 1, it's 17 by 5 because you want to add 2 centimeters on the side and also 2 cm on that side, so that this is a 17 by 5 cm piece and we'll explain how we're going to use this later. For now, just align it on your fabric and I'm going to mark this and cut it out and then we move on to the next step. There we go. We got two of these. I'm going to mark the bad side. What we're going to do next is we're going to fold this double, but we're not going to fold it double in the middle. We're going to fold it double so that we have a one centimeter difference here. So that one edge is longer than the other. Right? Now this is not very important that it's one centimeter or 8 millimeter, because the only reason that we are doing this is to avoid bulk. What I mean is that if we fold this precisely double, then in the end, when our weld pocket is constructed, we will have two layers of fabric here, and then as we move along, all of a sudden those two layers will fall away, plunk, and we will have, you know, our trousers there. And this will give a visible ridge in your trousers. So it's better to offset this a little bit, right, like that, so that first you drop off one layer and then another layer. And this is sort of smoothing out the transition of your weld pocket. And when making clothes, um, one thing you always want to try to do is to avoid sudden, you know, differences in, in how many layers of fabric you have. So we're sort of fanning out this difference here so that it sort of tapers off. And that is really the only reason that we're um, folding this asymmetrically. So I basically have a one and a half and a two and a half centimeter piece. That's where I draw the line. Um, I'm going to iron this. So just to make sure we have the bad side on the inside. I'm going to iron this in place like that so that it's a nice neat crease and make sure to respect the grain line. I'm going to do the same here. When we um, make a welt pocket we're actually going to be cutting a hole into our garment and to make uh, to give some support and some strength uh, to our garment, we're going to apply a little bit of interfacing. Uh, this is fusible interfacing that you iron on um, to the bad side of where the weld pocket is. And for the size of the interfacing, you can actually 
we use the template for your weld so you just need to um, cut out a piece of interfacing of the same size what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know let's assume this is where the weld pocket should come somewhere I'm just gonna iron this interfacing in place and then we can start actually making the weld pocket okay let's quickly take stock here I have my fabric where I'm gonna make my weld pocket in this could be a leg of a trouser or you know some jacket part I've ironed on this interfacing here and I have folded my two pieces as I said earlier I've made a sharp crease here um, don't be afraid to use some steam or even get your fabric wet to make sure this is a nice and sharp crease now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the position of the weld pocket so basically we're going to make a weld pocket that's 13 centimeter wide so I'm just going to draw a line that's 13 centimeter long in the middle of this interfacing where the weld pocket should be however I'm going to do so on the front side this will be our weld pocket. First we mark the edges of our weld. So we said that we were going to make a one centimeter wide weld pocket. Okay. This will be where we sew. We're going to be sewing later on from there to there and from there to there. And it's important that this is a nice and clean rectangle rectangle. What I mean is that the line should absolutely be parallel and the corners should stop at the same height so that these lines are parallel too. That's really important. So take your folded weld, put it with the shorter side down. Now what we're going to do is put it on this line and then an extra half of your pocket. So this is half a centimeter, right? What we're going to do is we're going to shift this half a centimeter and we're going to sew here so that when we later turn this over that half a centimeter will actually cover this right so we're also going to mark half a centimeter on this piece now we're going to sew from the intersection of these lines to there and when that's done we're going to do the same on the other side so okay so we get this sew it on we're going to do the same here short side down like that sew it on like this so first we get this out of the way I haven't marked half a centimeter on this but you can eyeball it don't get me wrong needs to be precise so you know eyeball it precisely this is what it looks like now get a weld sewn on the front this is what it looks like in the back now we're gonna cut it open and just be careful that you don't cut into your weld so keep those aside then don't cut all the way to the corner until there and then on the 45 degrees say like that same thing on the other side get out your iron just press this down like this both from the back and from the front and then we'll finish the corners and here we are I've ironed this weld pocket and as you can see um, this is the result that we get. It's is it great? No, it's not. I tapered in a bit there, but pretty good. It looks like this from the back. Now we need to finish the corners. So if I fold this back, you see that I've taken this little tip and I folded it to the side. This is this little tip of fabric. Remember that at the end we cut into a corner so we fold this backwards so basically what we're going to do is we're gonna on our sewing machine put our weld pocket down good side up and then 
fold it back here like this and then we're going to sew here right now don't go too much don't go into your fabric here because then the stitching will show up on the side right just sort of sew it there and then go into the right and attach these two and there we go, we have now essentially made the weld, not yet the pocket, because we have to attach the pocket back, but the weld is finished, it's strong, you know, it's, it sits neatly, and as you can see, I've sewn down these tips, as I said I would, here, I just sewed on the edge there, and then, you know, meandered a bit off, to make sure it's really firmly attached and did the same there and that sort of um, finishes the look of the weld and this is why I use this method there's not a single stitch to be seen from the good side right there's nothing there's some I used to actually stitch around some people say just stitch there at the edges but this method there's not a single stitch inside and I think that's you know really is a nice look now it really all comes down to this two parallel lines of stitching you do at the beginning and the placement of your welds but as you can see here I sort of eyeballed this and it still looks pretty good you can practice this on your own um, the piece of denim I showed you earlier like I've made a, a number of, of practice runs there um, it's, it's really not that hard to do once you get the hang of it you'll get nice looking weld pockets um, each and every time